We're going to move on to a game called Survive, Escape from Atlantis. Yes, designed by Julian Cortland Smith. The art was by David Eslus and Gene Bryce Dugnett. It's published by Stronghold. This version, the 30th anniversary. Yes. Uh, it, it was a game from like, what, the 80s or something before? I don't um, remember what year it was. Uh, yeah, I think it was 80s. 84 or something. Somewhere in there. Anyway, I don't feel like looking that up. But they did republish it under Stronghold, and it's got really cool components. Yes. But essentially, there's an island. You build this island out of three different terrain types. Uh, the island is sinking. You need to. It's the island of Atlantis. You need to get your players off the island to the corners of the board where they score points at the end of the game if they're alive. I mean, they can't die on the island or on the uh, scoring area. Right. But they can die in very many ways yes. trying to get there. And it's definitely a game of work together, but screw each other over in the end. We're in this together. <laughs> we are in this together. <laughs> that is where that, uh, yeah, we'll come back to that. So you get a bunch of guys, depending on the number of players. It's a meeple. And on the bottom of the meeple, they have a number. Was it one through six? One through six. Yeah. You got more ones. You yes. only have one six and, you know, in between, whatever. And no one else knows what numbers they're worth. That's the point value they're worth at the end of the game. And at the beginning, you take turns placing them on this map, and the map's a bunch of hexagons, basically. And that that's it. I mean, you're trying to put your guys out, and then you're trying to move them to the end or to the edges. And to move them, you got so many actions on your turn, mm -hmm. movement points. You choose a guy; he can move so far. They can get into these little rowboats that they kind of run through the water. And then you're gonna roll a die, uh, or maybe you roll the die. Yeah, you roll the die at the end of the turn to move one of the sea monsters, possibly, or you know, there's all kinds of sea monsters and there's expansions for that. And then there is uh, the tiles as they crumble away, you know, because at the beginning of your turn, you take one of those tiles and you move it. And so people that were there could fall into the water, things like that. And on the bottom of the tile, they have special actions that you can do. Uh, you can spend them to move the sea monsters or put new boats into play, things like that. Right. And so it's a very cutthroaty game. And it's awesome. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the expansions, what were the three? There was a five and six player expansion. Yeah, five and six player, the giant squid, and the dolphin and dive dice. You want to explain those? Uh, You've yeah. recently played with them. Yeah, so the giant squid, he's um, he's pulling people out of lifeboats and off land into the water. Uh, he can also kill From whales. adjacent spaces, right? From adjacent, yes. Um, he can also kill whales if he enters a space with a whale. Um, the five and six player just adds, you know, two two more colors. There is a variance for placing the meeples out because then you're running into more meeples and spaces. Yeah, you can double up on some. Yeah, you can double up. And then the dolphin and dol uh, dive dice, uh, your dolphins can protect you from sea monsters if they team up with a meeple because sometimes your meeples end up in the water. So you can uh, tag them up with a dolphin and move them along. It doesn't, like, drag them along with, like, the dolphin move token. They don't get to like move three spaces with a dolphin or anything, but right. um, and the dive dice is kind of neat because instead of rolling a dice to see what creature you get to move by the set standard uh, move amount, you roll for a creature and then you roll the amount of movement it gets. So it can get one, two, three, or dive, which is pretty much the put it in in a you know any space that's not occupied on the yeah. map. So. Have you played this a lot with and without the expansions? Uh, I've played it twice with them since I've gotten them. I think I got them for Father's Day last time. Yeah, and I'm several times without them. So let me. So have you played it five and six players? We played with five. We've played with six, and I gotta tell you, it is awesome. Really, with that many people. I mean. There's a lot more chaos than happens, but I mean, because in a four player game, or even if you play it three players, I don't even know if you play it two. I wouldn't ever play it two. No. But with three and four players, it's kind of like you can kind of build some alliances, you know, for the most part. Right. As long as you try to make sure you have more guys that survive in the end. And that's where the, uh, we're in this together, Matt. Right. So everybody, you know, the life bolts can only hold so many people, mm -hmm. like three. Three. And so, like, if you have two of yours and one of theirs or better yet one of yours and two of theirs and you get to to the edge of the board and you move your guy out and then you sink it with your monster roll at the end yep. of your turn oh it's 
it's satisfying, but man, I feel like there might be some hostility amongst some game groups by playing this. Yep. But um, yeah, the five and six player expansion, I feel like is my favorite out of the three of many expansions. Although the, the dolphin and dive dice is really good. Yeah. Um, I like the, I like the squid and I like the dolphins. I like, I like playing with the uh, dive dice better too. Than, yeah. Than without, even though they do give you a new engraved dice, I think in that set. Yeah, because the one that came with it was printed on, right? So that it kind of rubs off. And but stuff. it just kind of got set to the side. I like the dive dice a lot better. Now they did reinvent this game as the Escape from Atlantis, or what's the new one? It's something with space aliens. Yeah, uh, um, it's survive uh, something outer space, space attack. Or yeah, something. Uh, the Ingelsteins designed it. And they, mm-hmm. They've got a little bit different. Like, I don't know the changes they made in it and stuff. I watched the review. I think like last year, but does it interest you at all? I'm not too big into science fiction. Oh, so, so you don't like the space theme. The space theme's not going to appeal to me. I mean, it's not saying I don't play things that are space, you know, science fictiony, but it just, I didn't sit there and go, Oh, okay. Now if it was like a medieval theme, then I probably would have checked it out without even thinking, but just science fiction. I'm not a, the biggest fan of fair enough. Yeah, it would be it would be cool to play that version to see what's changed and what's different. Yeah, and no, what's I'm, new. I'm interested. Yeah, but I just didn't seek it out and try and see what uh what was different or anything like that. Yep. So if you got people who like space theme, this is definitely a game, especially if they like to cutthroat. Yeah, because <laughs> there is a lot of that going on. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you think about the um the special tiles and stuff? Do you feel like some of them are like? I do like the ones that'll kill a whale because yeah. if you got a lifeboat and yeah. the shark one, I mean, it's usually, I mean, I guess you could have more than one meeple in a spot. And if they're going to like take out three of your people, then yeah, you might want to, but I, I feel like the whale one comes in handy a lot. The, oh yeah, the moving the lifeboat three spaces is killer sometimes. Oh man. Especially if you throw three of your guys in there. That is a powerful tile. Um, yeah. especially if you're trying to dodge around some sea monster that someone's obviously trying to get in your way. Um, so yeah, I, I like the tiles. It's, uh, you know, there is one thing I like how they handle this is yeah, obviously there's, there's kind of a player elimination in some way you can lose all your guys before other people have a chance to, you know, lose all theirs. Or if you, you know, happen to get your guys off the Island fast enough to the scoring spots and you have no more meeples to move, you don't get to, you know, just sit and watch everybody go. You still get to take your turn. You still get a turn. You still get to move monsters and stuff, and, and you're pulling tile. Maybe you, I want to purposely pull this, and hopefully I'll get this whirlpool. Yeah, and suck everything into it. Yeah. So I like how they handle that because you're still in the game. It's not like your turn just immediately stops and you can't do anything else until everyone else is done. And it kind of it does make you become vicious at that point. Yeah. You you pretty much turned into the game. And you're just playing against everybody else. Yeah, because there is your alliances are broke at that point. Yeah, right. If I can kill as many people as possible on my turn, I'm going to do it. I hope there's a shark under here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, very fun game. Yeah. So, that's uh, Survive, Escape from Atlantis. Yes, sir.